get the sense with Glyn that what he's promoting is something that is deeply and heartfelt. He has a passion for higher education and he has a real passion for the role that higher education can make and does play in changing and transforming people's lives. I think in terms of a leader, he shows not only vision but the capacity to implement vision, which is an unusual combination. As a leader, he certainly has a vision of the big picture, but he also has a wonderful capacity to see small-scale challenges and opportunities. He listens, makes a decision after he's sought our advice, and then we're in it together. We own the decision, and I think that's a mark of a true leader. He's also important because of the very wide respect for him within the community. When he speaks for the university or speaks to the community about any matter, people listen that crucial ability to build consensus and the understanding of a Vice-Chancellor that he's there to lead not only for his institution but for the sector as a whole. And that really is definition of greatness in a university leader. been a profoundly transforming impact that he's had, not only on this university, but in discussions around the country in terms of higher education. Glyn has actually instituted a number of major reforms during his time at the university. Clearly the one that is most publicly recognised is his reform of the university curriculum. An exploration really of generalised postgraduate education, and it's provided, if you like, a standing alternative to the way that virtually every other university operates. Certainly the most important changes to academic structures in the history of Australian higher education, that was Glyn's inspiration. Glyn's had an enormous influence on research. Clearly when he first came here we had the Melbourne model and a great influence and concentration around the teaching model. But during that time he's never forgotten the importance of research, not only to this university but the role that we play with our sister research institutes and the hospitals in developing research for Australia. In my own area of uh, medical research, this has been the most outstanding 10 years that I can ever remember. In 2013, we launched Believe, the campaign for the University of Melbourne, with a goal of securing $500 million to invest in the teaching and research and engagement programs of the university. Glynn's approach to philanthropy is multifaceted. He has been a key part of engaging our campaign board led by Alan Myers QC. His ideas and his leadership are evident in the way in which the campaign has been framed and it's been conducted. He always finds what's good in what others are saying and doing and draws that out. As a result of Glyn Davis's leadership, the university enjoys a preeminent reputation both in Australia and increasingly internationally. We do have a quality university in Australia that really can mix it with the top ten in the world. And I think Glyn Davis has been assiduous and effective in being able not only to build but to project that reputation. <laughs>